Well, this is where I left you last time at the top of Turley Locks. Let's come up through the locks, and now we're going to go on to one of the most spectacular places on the Shropshire Union Canal. We're going to go through the deep cuttings, and very deep cuttings that are along here. Quite impressive. So, without further ado, let's get on with today's video. Bye bye, Turley Locks. Well, I'm going to be approaching the Narrows up here very shortly. I spoke to the people on the boats that you can see up in the distance there in front of me. And I asked them if I, I could follow them through. Uh, obviously, I can't send somebody up in front to check that it's all clear. So they will be doing that and I will follow them through. So let's get ready. As you can see, we haven't yet got to the very narrow section, but this is already very beautiful, isn't it? The sun glistening down through the trees either side, this corridor of light. I haven't actually reached the real narrows yet. It's starting to narrow down, and we're starting to get some embankments either side now. But it's going to get very much more spectacular shortly, I believe. Now it's starting to get a little bit more prominent as you can see. Oh, it's a warm day. It's nice to be in the trees, a little shade. I'm now going under the first of the high bridges along here. And this is not as high as what I believe is called High Bridge. I'll give you some idea when we come out in the moment, just so how high this cutting is, and how echo it is through here. Yeah, I don't need that. That's 
required six of the most dry days, sunny day to come through here on. We're now going through a very sheer cliff faces here. It's quite nice and cool through here. Just cut straight sheer face rock either side of me. After coming through all that cutting and everything, now we've come into open countryside and we're on a slight embankment here. I have no idea what that hill is in the distance there. I guess it's something I must look up. Where I'm going, I'm going past more boats here. Well, it's a warm afternoon. I don't think it takes any guessing what that building would have been for originally, do you? Pretty sure it's stables. This building we're just coming up to here, this old wharf, I believe is one of the old Cadbury wharfs. I'm not going to put money on that, but I believe it is. I definitely believe this was once a Cadbury wharf. If I'm wrong, please let me know. Well, it looks like I'm approximately halfway between Nantwich and Nathalie Junction. Guess what? It's only taken me three weeks to get here. Nice new sign. I stopped here about two hours ago because the heavens opened up just after I came past the what I believe was the Cadbury building. It's time to start and make a move again. I'm just about to see my boat moored up down there. The last one on the line there on the embankment. Well, let's have a quick look over the top of this aqueduct here. I wonder what we're going over the top of. Oh, it looks like it's a country lane. Oh, look, there's a car as well. As I walk back to the boat, I find this gap in the trees. Look at the beautiful view across the Shropshire countryside. In the next part of this video, I've removed the sound. Uh, this boat you can see going past me right now, Gemini, crashed into me quite badly. And look how they're taken off. Fortunately, I uh, got them on film. I'll show you the damage that they created to my boat here. I'm not going to dwell too much here about what happened. I spoke to the owners of the hire company, and they have compensated me for the damage which I will get repaired when I have the boat out of the water to have it blacked. I'd only stopped for lunch when I got hit 
So anyway, now it's time to continue with the journey. So here we go. I have a big shout out to go in this video. I was just doing this editing when I've just received a very generous contributions to the channel via PayPal from Susan Marker. Thank you very much, Susan. Your support of the channel is very, very much appreciated. Thank you once again. You can see here, we're starting to head towards another cutting and the height of the bridges are starting to increase again. Yes, this is another deep cutting. There is rather a very unique bridge along here as well, which I think you might find interesting shortly. Well, here we have it. Quite a unique feature in this bridge. It's like double arch in the middle with a telegraph post in the middle. Not connected anymore, but you can imagine one day's time that ran all the wires through there. Well, we've now arrived at Norbury Junction, where I'm going to moor up for the night. I'd like to thank, of course, all my PayPal and Patreon supporters, especially my new Patreon supporter, Robert Browsford. I want to thank everybody, of course, for watching and everybody for subscribing. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the old bell notification button. That way YouTube will inform you every time I upload a new video. And if you could also please hit the like button, I understand that really helps the YouTube algorithm in promoting my material. Please also leave your comments. I love reading your comments and I answer them all. That just leaves me to say, thank you very much for watching. Trevor out.